So from our Ethereum dashboard, first thing we've got to do is download the auto discovery and deployment tool. So from your dashboard, if you'd like to go straight across to the tool section, you should see the download there. So you can quickly accept the terms and conditions and download the software. It shouldn't take too long, it's quite a small little application. There we go, now that we've got our application downloaded, let's quickly install that. So here you go, you've got the usual uh, user terms and conditions, obviously make sure you're happy with these. Once you're happy, accept. And here we are, we are ready for deployment. And see it's not really an installer as such, here the system basically extracts the files to a temporary direction. And then you can uh, use it from there. So basically every time you need to deploy it, you need to download this small little 6 meg package. So now we've got this, that's all ready, so we'll minimise that out of the way for a moment. And we come back to our Arterian dashboard. Now we need to actually get the product you want to deploy. So we need to open up our endpoint manager. Once we're in here, we can go to devices and we can choose the bulk installation package. Okay, from here is basically going to give us a complete and utter set of uh, options. We can either do a bulk installation package for the um, agent along with the antivirus if you wish, or we've got the option for downloading the remote Iterian control tool. But we're going to concentrate on the bulk installation package. So basically choose all the details, so if it's for custom A, enter their details here and choose them from whatever the various groups. Um, you can then obviously add in device groups if you've got them. You can choose what operating system you want this to be for. Now we're going to choose a hybrid just to make sure because as we know most environments have both. And I'm just going to worry about the communication of the client at the moment uh, because it's for Iterian and the actual uh, security side is a Komodo product, which you have to make sure you have licenses for. So we're not going to include any antivirus definitions because we're not including the antivirus. Because we're not including the antivirus as well, it doesn't assign profiles and stuff for you and there's no reboot options. On the UI here, so share a message if the install has failed. Well, once again, these are AV stuff, so there's nothing really to do. If your network has any specialised uh, proxy details or whatever else from the uh, agents trying to connect, you can enter those now. If not, you can just simply download the installer. Now you'll notice on my machine here, it's already started to automatically download the installer, even though it's giving me a download option. So I'm just going to close this one here because we don't need it. And I'm going to go and show this in a folder so I can grab it and move it. So I'm just going to move that here in the background to an easy folder so we can use it. Right, okay, I've got that in the background already. Now we've got our dashboard minimized, we can go back to our Ethereum deployment. So the first thing we need to do is select the package we want to deploy. So what we'll do is we'll select that package. So there's our package that we're going to deploy and we select open. Now because I didn't choose any of those options I didn't download the MST transformation file. But if we go back to our Ethereum platform here just so you can see, if you customize any of these bits here for the antivirus and the proxy settings, you can then download an MST transform file, which will configure those additional options inside the installer. But as we're just doing the agent, there's no need. So we got our package in, there's no need for our transform. So we can do here to uh, specify some parameters if you wish. So if you want to do like your, your silent no reboots and stuff like that, if you're very good at your MSIs, you can specify those here, but we're not going to do that today. And if you haven't done a combination package like me, you can choose to then put a 64-bit package in as well. So we're going to click the next button. 
which is now going to take us to our discovery options so we can discover what machines to install on. So the first thing we've got to do is choose, well, are we looking at Active Directory, are we looking at Workgroup, or are we going to do it by network addresses? So we actually don't have an Active Directory on our test network here, so we're going to ignore that one. But if you did have an Active Directory you're doing for a client, it's very simple. You click on that there on a, a domain joined PC that you'll be doing this from. It already can speak to AD. It can then list all the PCs from AD and you can just select them, provide your AD credentials and hit go. In a work group, which is a bit more us, what we're going to do is show available work groups that may take a bit of time because I can't remember what we got off the top of our head. Oh, there we go. We've got an issue. No work groups found. Now, this is quite a common thing with um, deployments, especially in work groups. Because uh, you might find you've already got your antivirus on, or maybe you haven't got um, network discovery turned on, and bits like that. Um, so potentially this might not work. So what we're going to do? We'll go back, and we'll choose network addresses. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stick in our test network address uh, slash twenty-four. That should do that. Try these, it might not. Uh... It might not work, but we'll see what's going to happen. Okay, our discovery has uh, happened and it's currently deploying. So if we just expand so we can see what's going on. So as you can see here, it's trying all the various IPs that it's getting response from. Uh, we've got an invalid username and password on that one. Uh, not surprising to be honest with you, because we're not in a, a standard work group here. Um, we're in a uh, test environment with a bit of a mishmash. Right, we've got a, an installation failed here. Now that there, um, we can actually explain that one straight away. We don't have to worry too much about it. As you can see, our password was correct but uh, that's already because it's previously installed. This here is the machine we are currently on now. Once the installation is finished, you'll get a nice report back here so you can see what mop-up jobs you need to do. Thank you for listening. We'll see you again.